Hey guys, so we are coming towards the end of the year. Not many days are left for 2024 to kick in. How many of y'all are really excited? How many of y'all have got your goals that y'all really want to achieve? You know, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's financial, you want to make more money, a new house, travel, whatever it is. Remember, as a manifestation coach, I teach you exactly what to do in order to get what you really want in your life. So are you really excited? I am, because I've got so much more to create and there's so much more to give, which I'm preparing up for the 24 now. This one thing I want to talk about is goal setting. It's one of my favorite subjects and I always talk about it. It is the first, it's it's the, one of the first things that I normally talk about when my with my clients, you know, what is it that you really want to achieve? And in all, most of my videos, I do mention that. What is it that you want? And I can show you how to get it. But there are certain things that you have to understand. When you are setting a goal, what I learned from my mentor, and that's what I'm going to share with you today, right? the three types of goals, A, B, and C. Now, which goal is it that you really want to go for is so important. The A goal is a goal which you've already done it before and you're trying to achieve it again. It could be a car that you already have and you want to upgrade to the newer model and that's your aim, that's your goal. That's really not a goal. There is no growth in it. When you have a goal, it should be something that can make you grow, take you to a complete different level you know, uh, a quantum leap, like I would say. So a goal will really not make you grow to what you really want to be. The second one is a B goal. Now, B goal is something where we often say that when I reach to this level, this is what I'm going to do. When I make so much money, this is where I'm going to be I'll buy the house. Or when I make this much money, that's when I'm going to buy the car. Yes. It can be tied up to that financial, but it is when you make, you know, and, and it's always going to be that struggle that when I make, when I make, when I make, and that when will never come because it's always into the future. The third one, which is the C goal, which is the one which I normally work with my clients with and I teach my clients, it's got to be a ridiculous goal. It's got to be a goal that you set it so high that it should scare the hell out of you. It should be a goal where you're going to wonder, how am I going to achieve that goal? It's a goal that is virtually impossible to achieve. But that is what I want you all to do. Your goals should be the type where you really think twice, how am I going to do it? And then, once you've put that down on the piece of paper, what your goal is, you know, whether it's to make a million pounds or a million dollars or $10 million or even a hundred million dollars, whether it's to buy a, a house near a lake or a river or whatever it is, I want you to put a goal down that would scare you. If you are thinking of buying a house which has got three bedrooms, put down five bedrooms. You know, with a cinema room, with what, with a huge uh, garden in the front and at the back, you know, with a car, a massive kitchen, everything that you could really think of in a bigger scale, put it inside, and then start to work towards it. And yes, I, I may sound, sound stupid about it. You know, then start to work towards it. But if you ask my clients, ask my clients who have gone through this. They have achieved so much using that system, which I teach, the C goal, because that is what you're going to be focused on. That is what your imagination is. That's what you have thought about, because it's your imagination that has gone and created that image for you. And if it has created that image, which means you can achieve it. It's simple as that. Because anything and everything that you hold in your mind, you can bring it forth into reality. And having a very high C goal is what is the standard I put, put all my clients through. I hope this has been of help. If you want any help in how to set a goal about, you can book a free call with me and I can show you and then you can just carry on with it. 
I love to help you out with it. Goal setting is the first step to everything. It is the navigation. It is when you put a postcode or a zip code in your navigator. That is what it is when you set a goal up that this is what I want to become. This is what I want to have. This is who I want to be. And then you start. Don't remain in the first gate or don't remain on the fence. It's no good. I've been there. I've told you before I've been there. It is not a good feeling at all. Your goals are there to motivate you. Your goals are going to be there to, dri to drive you. Set high standards, high goals, and move towards it. Until the next video, take care. This is Aslam.